Welcome back and we're here for our apple cider review. It's been two weeks in the bottle today. Uh, so, got a nice glass here. Let's get cracking. As you can see it's nice and clear. A little bit of haze on it, well frost on the, on the bottle. Alright, let's crack open and see how she pours. Uh oh, that's not good. Alright, little hiss. Ah. The joys of homebrew. Alright, here's the pour. Nice vigorous pour because as you know guys with a uh, homebrew cider, there's not going to be much of a head. clean bottle. Yeasties are at the bottom. Alright, here it is, guys. Nice and clear. Got plenty of carbonation. Let's take a sniff. Yeah. Your classic home-brewed apple juice fermented out and turned into an alcoholic beverage. So cheers everybody, 17. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Has that uh, classic Granny Smith type apple-y taste. Dry on the finish. Uh, has that Bite. I don't know what it, it only pertains to ciders. It has that bite on the back of the tongue for me, anyway. Very appley. You smell the apples. Taste the apples. It's good. It's not bad. Not bad for on the cheap. You want to put something in your pipeline? You ain't not like me. I don't have any. Uh, Homebrew ingredients right now to make a, a real good ale. I got some things I got going on in my mind about what I want to do next. And uh, I just got to get over to the homebrew shop and pick up the things and get with the guy that uh, runs my uh, homebrew shop and uh, come up with a recipe for this uh, beer I want to do. And I'll bring you guys along and we'll, uh, we'll see what we're going to do. But as for this... Thirst quenching, I mean this is great on a nice hot day, and for the 7.2% alcohol that this came out at, it drinks smooth. We're talking, I could pound this right now and not even feel the alcohol in it, but if I did that, give it another 10 minutes after that, my face is going to be hitting the floor, because... A couple of these, man, whoo, boy, yeah, the room starts spinning for me. Um, but yeah, it's a nice, nice, nice quick brew that I did, and uh, came out nice as usual. Nothing like a quick, cheap cider to fill the pipeline. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know I am. And it tastes, came out really good, really nice this time. Uh, the yeast I used was a Cooper's yeast. I have one more packet of uh, Cooper's yeast, so I'm going to use that when I do it again. And then after that, I'm going to use a Red Star wine yeast. I think that's what I was talking to a guy, uh, my homebrew supplier. He uh, he said the best cider he ever tasted was used with that with Red Star. I think not not only about champagne yeast, but the uh, I believe the red wine yeast. I forget which one. i got to ask him again. And I'm going to buy that and try it again with that and see how it tastes compared to this. Because this is just a regular ale yeast. But yeah. I mean, it's an acquired taste. You guys do this. Any of you guys haven't brewed it before and you want to just do something quick, grab a thing of apple juice. 
Uh, you don't need if you don't have any equipment or whatever, you don't need it. You just take the jug out, pour a little bit of the juice out, drink the juice, because you need that head space because it will overflow once you put the yeast in. And grab yourself a set, uh, buy yourself some yeast, some ale yeast, some red red champagne, uh, red star uh, champagne yeast or red wine yeast. I, I have to check on the yeast, but um, any yeast will work. And but deep, buy a decent quality yeast, put it in there, ferment it out bottle it or just decant it right out of the jug you don't need any special equipment just decant it right in your glass and uh, you got yourself some apple wine or if you want to carve it up you would need a, you know bottles and then put a little bit about a teaspoon of sugar in the bottles or carbonation drops that I use and bottle it up let it sit for two weeks and there you go you got yourself an alcoholic beverage that'll knock Knock your face in the dirt. If I drink, if you drink, if you would drink two to three of these at the ratio that I did, seven per, I mean, you could put as much sugar as you want. You can get this up to 11% alcohol if you want. It's a little too strong for my taste. I mean, this right now is, is probably decent enough for me. At 7.2%, that's fine. I'm going to have one of these and nice, nice mellowed out, chill feel, and you're, you're good to go. If I had another one, I'm going to wake up with a bit bad headache. And I don't want that. But yeah, it's really good. I recommend it that you guys try it. Let me know if you like this video. Thumbs it up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like. I'm going to have many more brewing adventures, kayak adventures, hiking adventures, whatever I can drum out on the channel for your viewing pleasure. So come along with us, me and Hugo. And uh, like I said, in the next couple of coming weeks, I'm going to try to uh, get together at the homebrew shop and, and come up with a recipe. Because I'm, I'm trying to clone a beer, basically what I'm trying to do. I've never had the beer, so I'm trying to figure out what goes into it. Because the website states, you know, what, you know, kind of vaguely what's in the beer. So I'm trying to go with that and uh, just work something up. I will see. Um, so I'll bring you along and uh, we'll figure it out. So I uh, hope you guys are well, everybody doing good. So cheers, keep your mugs full, and we'll see you on the next one. And remember, let's set sail.